You want a challenge? Super trash. So good. So good. Should I just wear my hair down? That flies in my yogurt. <laughs> oh, this isn't a spray. Look, it looks like I have a little head and some big ass arms. Oh my God, I was starting the video with my audio just sitting right here. Okay. Can we, can we end this? Hey guys, what's up? What's good? It's your girl Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm bringing to you a full face using only e.l.f. products. You guys have been requesting this nonstop in the comments and I see you, I feel you, I hear you. So today I'm bringing to you just that. I'm super excited because I decided to do something that was a little bit more smoky, a little bit more vampy, you guys know me. So if you guys like this video and you guys like me, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up so that way I know. Also subscribe to my channel because I upload two new videos every week, twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's get into it. You guys know I always say in my videos to start off by moisturizing your skin. So I'm gonna do just that. Today I'm gonna use this. This is the e.l.f. Illuminating Moisturizer. It has SPF of 15 in it. I've never used this before. I've never really ever used e.l.f. skincare, but I do have a lot of it. So we're going to see how this goes. It's kind of like a milky foundation shade. I'm just going to apply it to the center of my face. So this is meant to moisturize and hydrate the skin while giving it more of a illuminated dewy effect. And I think it feels really nice on the skin. I can definitely see the illuminating glow it gives my skin. Do you guys see that? Pretty. I actually really like this. The only primer I own from e.l.f. is a primer mist. It's from their Aqua collection, which has like the blue tops. You guys know I really love the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. So I'm hoping that I really like this. So I'm just going to shake it up and then just mist my face. Okay, let's, let's get it going. Oh my God, it's like a freaking water hose. Mm -mm. Guys, my face is like dripping. This literally squirts out like a water hose. I definitely do not like that. I'm gonna be fanning my face forever until it dries. So moving on, I'm going to jump straight into foundation, yes. Today I'm gonna to be using two different foundations from e.l.f. This one is more of their acne fighting foundation. And then this, I wanna say, this is their oil-free foundation makeup. This one is in the shade caramel and this one is in the shade buff. I had to pick up two. These are like the only two shades they had in my Target. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the acne fighting foundation, put it on the back of my hand and pump a little bit of the caramel shade to kinda, of, you know get things going. Oh my God, caramel isn't even that dark. It looks super dark in the packaging, but it's definitely not. Lord help me. I'm simply going to paint the foundation on my face with this e.l.f. 104 brush. And I'm gonna start in the middle of my face. It's actually not a bad match. Um, I do think I could have went a little bit darker. It does come off a little bit more pink, but I think I can fix it when I contour. So I'm not really sure about the coverage of this oil-free makeup on its own, but the Acne Fighting Foundation definitely seems to have a lot of coverage to it. It was a little bit more of a thicker formula, which I like, so I think that's what's really giving me all the coverage right now. So I'm just using this brush to place the product where I want it. Once I have the placement, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Damp Beauty Sponge. This is the smaller one, which is typically meant for concealer, but the other one is in the bathroom and my sister is in the bathroom right now. So I'm just gonna make do with this little one and really buff out and blend out the foundation so that way it looks super natural. I'm not gonna move on to my brows. I'm using this today. This is the Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in the shade Medium Brown. Fun fact, I bought this and someone used it. Why, person? Why? Why would you use it? Take it back. 
And why target people? Why didn't you check? Because this is disgusting. But I'm gonna use it. I'm just going to take a little bit of this product and then I am going to place it onto my brows. Whoa, whoa there, super brown. To clean up underneath my brows today, I'm gonna use the contour palette and I'm going to take the lightest shade in the contour palette and I'm just gonna drag this directly underneath my brows. I'm also gonna use this shade to prime my eyelids as well. Before moving on to eyeshadow, I'm just gonna use a little bit of the e.l.f. eyebrow gel in clear. I used to use this stuff all the time when I first started getting into makeup. I don't use the eyelash gel, but I do use the brow gel. Taking the Matte for Matte 2 palette, I'm gonna take that nude shade and on a blending brush by e.l.f., I'm just going to rock this into my crease to set that base color. Next, I'm gonna take this warm tone brown shade on an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush, and I'm just going to rock that back and forth all over my lid. This is gonna act as my transition color. I really like to use fluffy brushes whenever I do my eyeshadow look, especially for my transition color, because I want it to be really nice and blown out. So that's why I'm using this concealer brush, because it's the only one that I saw in the store that was nice and fluffy. Going right back into the blending eye brush, I'm going to take that medium brown and I'm really going to focus it towards the outer portion of my eyelid and I'm really just gonna build up this color. You do that by pushing the product. You don't wanna swipe because at this point we're really trying to build up intensity. So just go ahead and pack it right up in that area. Also gonna take this in the very inner corner of the eyes and just pack that product right in there. Can you guys guess what kind of eye look I'm doing? Halo! But I'm sure you already knew that. I am going for more of a smoky, sultry look. So I'm gonna take the deep brown in the palette on an eye crease brush by e.l.f. And I'm just going to focus this towards the outer corners and also the inner corners. So I absolutely need this brush to blend. Blending just isn't the same without it. And this is a Morphe M433. Now that we're nice and smoked out, I'm gonna go in with a cream shadow by e.l.f. This is the Molten Bronze Shade, and it's from their Aqua Collection. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this and I'm applying it directly in the center for more of a chocolatey, chocolatey chocolate oh my god i can't even say that word chocolatey bronze look so i think my finger may work a little bit better for this when i did use the brush it kind of like took product away which isn't really what i want now that i have that sticky base down on my eyelids i'm gonna go in with the elf highlighting powder in the shade bronzed glow so this one right here i'm going to apply it to this brush and then i'm going to spray it with a little bit of the primer mist we used in the beginning so that way it has more of a foiled effect to it that water hose that water hose Going right back into that deep brown shade, I'm just going to feather it into the gold. I'm gonna apply it closest to my lash line for more of a smoked out look. Now don't worry, we still are gonna clean this up with concealer. Since I don't have a concealer, I'm just gonna use that light foundation that I used earlier, and I'm just going to pat it underneath my eyes. This definitely is gonna give me the coverage I want, and it's definitely light enough to highlight at the same time. And to clean up this outer part, you just want to take a brush 
and just buff out the edges. So I'm just gonna set my under eye concealer really quick because I don't want it to crease and this is in the shade Sheer. Moving on, I'm gonna use this shadow stick in liner in black and I'm going to tight line my upper lash line. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of their voluminizing mascara in black and coat my lashes. So the lashes I'm going to be using in today's video are these right here. These are the faux mink lashes by Ardell and I'm just gonna pop these on my eyes. I really tried to love the e.l.f. lashes, but they're trash, let's be real. While I wait for my lash glue to dry, I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of cream contouring. I never really cream contour, but since I have it in my possession, I'm going to be using this guy. This is the e.l.f. Cream Contour Palette. It's not in a certain shade, so I'm assuming they only have one. And I'm also going to be using the e.l.f. Stippling Brush. I'm going to take that medium shade, dip the brush in there, and then just apply it to the perimeter of my face. I'm gonna wipe some of that product on the palm of my hand and I'm just going to buff it out. So after cream contouring a little bit, I'm gonna go in and bronze the skin. This is a pretty light bronzing palette if I do say so myself. But I'm going to take the deepest shade, which is this one right up here in the corner, and I'm going to take it on a complexion brush by e.l.f. And I'm just going to set all the areas I apply that cream contour. Now, the next thing I wanna do is set all the areas of my face where I didn't apply creams or powders to. So today I'm gonna to be using this. This is the Finishing Powder by e.l.f. in the shade Light Medium. To apply it, I'm just going to be using the e.l.f. Powder Brush, which is a flat top brush like this. And I'm just going to press it into the skin. To highlight today, I'm gonna to be using the HD Highlighting Powder by e.l.f. This one is in the shade Sunset Glow, and I'm also going to be using their highlighting brush to apply it to the highest points of my cheeks. Woo! So pretty, so pretty. With a pencil brush, I'm also going to just pop this right here in the inner corners, the tip of my nose, down the bridge, in my cupid's bow. I'm gonna take this palette and I'm going to take the orangey tone right there and I'm gonna pop it on my cheeks. And this blush palette is in the shade light. I know that they have another one, it's dark, so just wanna let y'all know. But I really wanna amp it up a little bit, so I'm gonna go with a red lip. I'm gonna use this. I don't know what it's called because I threw the box out and it doesn't say it, but it is a lip liner and then it also has a blending tool on the end, but I think I'm just gonna use a lip liner. I do want the lips to be a little bit deeper, so I'm gonna go in with the lip palette and I'm going to mix these two deep shades right here and I'm going to apply it with the lip defining brush. And just like that, you guys, that's the end of my video. What'd you think? Did you like the full face using only e.l.f. products? Let me know what your favorite e.l.f. products are if I didn't mention them in today's video down below in the comments. And I don't think I have anything else to say except I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces.